the end of that 25 lap rainbow is $1,000. A nice way to start out the 2007 season. Who's it going to be? How's it going to be done? Let's find out. The cut number 99 of Larry White spent, spent many, many years out there going around that track, driving a Packer when he weighed about 100 pounds. Now he's behind the horsepower of a great big old-fashioned race car. And here they come, Shane. Working it off at corner number four. Green lights are on. Chris Higgins going to use the top side to his advantage. Charging down into corner number one and two as Higgins and Webb go side by side for the lead off of corner number two. They got a fender bender over there in turn number four as everybody scatters near the back of the pack. All it takes is for one to get loose. And we got a yellow coming out perhaps. Van Burdick waiting to see if they possibly can get out on the speedway. Yellow, 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 out on the speedway. Some other tracks, we'd like to pass them along to you. Uh, just got a phone call from some friends over at the Canandaigua Speedway, the big black modified feature tonight. It was Justin Harris picking up the win. Steve Payne second, Vic Coffey third, Danny Johnson fourth, and Chuck Bauer fifth. And big black rookie Russ Hefty coming home with a sixth place finish there tonight. So uh, Justin Harris picking up a... Uh, a win over there at the Canandaigua Speedway. Uh, Amanda Whitney is the gal that brought out the yellows. We're ready to go back to racing action here with one in the book. Bringing it off the turn. Chris Higgins in the number 19H. Look at this. They fan out three wide down the front straightaway. Brandon Sweet and Jeff Stevenson clean and green. Up in the corner number one. Sweet. Oh, boy. We've got one around. One car going around in a knot up there. That was Jordan Bennett. He did a complete 360. Maybe just a little bit customized on the one car. I thought we were going to be able to stay green, but I don't think that's going to be the answer, Shane. Jordan Bennett in the 06J did a complete 360 loop-de-loo. As he went around mid-pack and everybody did a great job to avoid contact with him. Sean Donath, Fulton Speedway track champion from last season, holding on to position at number five. As ready to crank him up tight and let him fly once again. Scott Goodrich right there in the 23G, back underway off of corner number four. Hank will decide to just wind that thing to the outside of the speedway. They all get clear of the pretty hole over there in turn number one and number two as they go down the back stretch side by side. Brandon Sweet looking to get up a spot. He will do so around the Meeks ride as they head down into turn number three and four. Everybody clean and green as they wake up through the corner. Higgins continues to lead the charge, but here comes Webb to the inside. He'll have the lead by a half car lane. Great move up there by Scotty Goodrich in that 23. As he saw that one coming, he sent him up all the way over there in turn number one and number two to make it happen. Car in trouble here on the front straightaway. That is the L86 of Larry Lamb. And we've got one around up in turn number two, the number 59 of Tyler Rand. As the yellow lights are out again. Second generation driver on the picked in Ontario, Canada. Watches him go by. Still unable to get the Rand car fired back up. So four are in the book. This is a 25 lapper. Pace car is in. We should be ready to go. Watching those pylons over there in turn number four, starting to fire it up just a little bit. Matt Burdick brings their left hand up, and we got a green. Here we go. Here they come. Looking good up on the outside of the speedway. Higgins decides to test the water on the outside of the Webb automobile. As they go side by side on the turn number one and number two. Watch young Jack Meeks. He's right there trying to make a threesome. Here they go. That's my kind of race as they go down the back straightaway into corner number three and four as Meeks holding on to position number three with the good wretch number 23 holding on to position number four as Higgins continues to show the fast way right now up into turn number one and two. Scotty Goodrich started out there position number nine. He's up there running a very, very hard fourth right now. And again, you got to watch that Meeks machine. He might have something left. As they work down out of turn number three and four. Joe Williams in the number 19 just took a spot away from the 87 of oh. Sean Donath as they come up off the turn. As they work their way down into turn number one and two. Actually, he took the spot away from the Bandigo number 18 machine. Turner out there in the number 92. Adam Turner right there in the nice looking machine. As they go to work out of turn number one and two, not more or less a single file. 
as they come into lap number seven this time. Tell you, Lightning Larry White's looking pretty good out there right now. Down the bag straightaway, 14-year-old chauffeur out of Phoenix, New York, holding his own against the sportsman ranks here tonight. Meanwhile, back up in front, Jack Meeks, as he is going after Mark Webb for position number two. Goneth goes to the top shelf where Grandma hides the vodka to see if she can get around the number 18 of Williams, but couldn't quite do it. Higgins brings him out the point. He's out of Syracuse, New York. This is a Saturday night track as he tries to shut the door once again on the back of the front of the kind of 36 of Webb. Jeff Stevenson right there for position number five, charging down into turn number one and two, trying to get up and race with the 23 of Goodrich. Meanwhile, Chris Higgins in the RTS machine, pulling away and running away and hiding from everybody else as they come to the line to complete lap number nine. Jeff Stevenson tries to take the Fox number 28 a little bit to the outside of the speedway. A good move by Jeff as he works to the outside to bring them down in front and then the outside of the 19. Larry, Larry White, the number 99, just getting by Amanda Whitney off of corner number four. Tell you what, this youngster's going to be good. I kept telling his mom all these years, he said, told Laura, you got to put him in a sprint car. <laughs> she wouldn't let him get in a sprint car, though. This is the way it should be right down there. Again, a beautiful car. Joe Williams in that kind of a 19 with a star on the side right there. Nice looking machine. As they exit corner number two, top five all within the same straightaway as the number 19 of Joe Williams holds the fifth position. Jeff Stevenson right there, so is Sean Donath as they work up into corner number three and four. Jeff Hunter out of Barnesville on that 3X making the move for the go-karts. Uh, as he's in trouble right now in turn number one and number two, Shane, over on the outside of two. A tough break for him as they work off the turn. Hunter in the number three X slipping down the bank straightaway as everybody goes flashing by. Let's hope he has enough to get to the pit area. Meanwhile, race leader. Coming into the turn, number four, down the front straightaway, clicking off lap number 12. It will go halfway of 13 again. Jeff Hunter staying way to the outside. Hope he can get that nurse, that thing into pit road as we go to the halfway point this time. Working it down the back straightaway. Mark Webb still holds on to second. Jack Meek still right there for third. We are halfway home. 13 down, 12. As circuits remain for this $1,000 to win sportsman feature event here tonight. Jeff Hunter makes his way into the pit area. We score lap number 13 right now. We'll head to move up front and see what's going on as he starts to clear lap traffic. Working it off the turn, Jeff Stevenson in the number 28 car, battling with Donath in the 87. As Williams now goes to work on the 23 at Goodrich for position number four, Joe Williams out of Scotia, New York. That is on the east side of the state over by Albany as he brings it down to the line on lap number 14. You can see that second place car made a little bit of an error, Mark Webb, and that put Jack Meeks up there in position number two with a lap car between them. As Higgins brings him off the point, and we score lap number 15 with 10 to go. 10 to go as they come by as the number 19 of Higgins has traffic. He's got the lamb, number L86, right there in front of him. He'll try and clear him on the inside. Couldn't quite do it. This allows Jack Meeks to move up to position number two around the 36C of Webb. This track is holding up in excellent, excellent shape because it was so wet and soggy out there. And it's turning into a nice black track for us as we score lap number 16 this time. I'm keeping my eye on Lightning Larry White in that 99. He's driving that ride like he stole it. He is looking pretty good out there right now, wheeling that, that uh, sportsman around the speedway up into corner number three and four. Good move by Goodrich that time. Tries to thread the needle up on the inside of the Donathan Martin automobile as they go to work down the backstretch. Coming to lap number seven. Yellow lights are on. We've got Amanda Whitney around on the top side of corner number four. The car number 21. A little bit of a problem out there for Amanda Whitney in that car number 21. She's out of Fabius near That's a teal with a Belar power plant into that one. As we score lap number 17, and we will go yellow. A little bit of a cosmetic damage done on the Christine Martin car, the number 81. But not slowing her up a little bit, and she's... Seventeen down. Eight laps remaining. Ready to turn them loose. Three hundred and thirty-eight dollars is the winner's share of the fifty.